guys, welcome to the J. Scott Outdoors podcast. I am on the road today traveling uh, to Wyoming and I got a question in about my, about our, excuse me. Guys, welcome to the J. Scott Outdoors podcast. I'm on the road today and I've been getting questions in about our coos deer hunts in Sonora, Mexico, and I wanted to take just a little bit here to just go through the different hunts that we provide there. We do coos deer hunts in Sonora, Mexico. I believe the first year that I went down uh, was in the late 90s, uh, either 98 or 99 in Sonora, Mexico, and Dar uh, Colburn uh, followed me not too long after that we started going together but I've uh, been going you know in that 18 19 year range uh, down to uh, Sonora Mexico and we haven't missed a year since we started and it's an unbelievable time to go down uh, for one usually the weather is uh, spectacular uh, compared to other parts of the country uh, our weather typically is in the lows, uh, you know, low snaps will have kind of mid-20s uh, in the morning and up to, you know, maybe even 70 degrees in the afternoon with a, with a more of an average of like in the 30s as lows and maybe in the low 60s as highs. Uh, so beautiful weather for one. Uh, number two, uh, reason why uh, we love it down there in Sonora, Mexico so much is the uh, buck to doe ratio is much higher, meaning there are a lot more bucks per does, and it's a what we call a target-rich environment. And um, all of the ranches that we hunt are 100% private property, and uh, we have exclusive rights and exclusive leases on all of our properties, meaning uh, nobody else hunts the properties uh, at the same time or during the same year, meaning if we have the lease on the property, we have the exclusive lease for deer on that property, no one else hunts it. And that makes it nice when you're trying to manage properties and you know find a 102, 103 inch buck that you want to see grow, it's a young deer you think will blow up. Uh, you know, and hope that it turns into a, you know, 108, 109, 110 type buck. Um, or find that 110 type buck and then you know he's a young deer and has lots of potential that, you know, we might let go and hope that he grows into a high teens or a, or a you know, a 20s buck. Uh, so the, the opportunity for lots of bucks and seeing lots of bucks, in my opinion, is better than, say, in Arizona where you're going to see bucks and have a great hunt, but you're not going to see as many bucks in most cases. Now, um, there, are some, there are some things about these ranches that you need to understand. Some of the ranches have more deer than others. Uh, some of the ranches don't have the numbers like maybe you'd even see in Arizona, but they have the bucks and they have the buck, buck quality. Um, and you know the beauty of having an exclusive lease and no one else hunting is you can leave a buck and come back five days later and find the buck again and know that you know no one else shot him. The only other uh, predator hunting those animals is uh, you know say lions, bobcats, or coyotes, which you know they obviously have their hands full with those predators uh, for sure, but you can be a little more selective, you can trophy hunt, you can, you know, try and find as mature and a big a buck as you can and uh, come back and if, you know, after four, five, six days of hunting, if you don't find that buck, you can come back and try and, you know, harvest the buck. Um, now we have uh, two types of uh, hunts. We have the fully guided hunts, which are fully guided hunts include uh, transportation from Douglas, Arizona to the ranches uh, and uh, it includes food, it includes lodging. Uh, most of our ranches have uh, fairly nice ranch houses. Some of them uh, are nicer than others. 
uh, but ample accommodations uh, with kitchens, showers, uh, and uh, most of them have beds. Uh, some, sometimes we have houses where we have to bring cots and such, but uh, just depends on the ranch. Uh, that includes the gun permit, that includes uh, the deer permit, that includes your guide. Um, all the hunts are, are they're fully guided. Um, we typically do groups of five to eight, depending on the size of the ranch, depending on the size of our groups and who we've got going. Um, and that is a situation where uh, from the time you uh, come to Douglas, Arizona, which is the international port, uh, you ride with us to the ranch. You also have the option to drive your own vehicle. Uh, you have to get a transportation permit if you want to bring your own vehicle. Uh, we can go over that uh, in more detail by email or by phone if you want to have more information. Uh, but those are fully guided hunts and uh, we typically do at least two guided hunts if not more uh, every year. Uh, we try and focus at least two hunts during the prime peak rutting season which in Sonora, Mexico uh, most of the month of January is, is, is really good rutting activity with I would say you know the peak season being anywhere from say uh, January 5th to the end of the month. Um, if I had to pick maybe a prime seven days, you know, typically that uh, 15th through the 22nd, uh, year in and year out, usually has really good buck uh, activity and, and deer movement and such. Uh, but that the, most of that guy blew my doors off. Most of the guy, uh, the hunts that we do are. Uh, fully guided and most of them are in the rut. Now we do at times different years we offer uh, pre-rut hunts that are, that are in uh, the month of December that are before the January uh, rut dates and one of the benefits of hunting uh, in those pre-rut dates or the month of December is uh, the bucks are usually very stationary. They're usually with other bucks. So when you find one buck, you usually find a, you know, a handful of bucks. Uh, and they become very habitual where if you find a giant buck, you can usually look at them day after day after day if you don't bump them. Uh, and you can leave a buck and come back three days later and he's going to be probably within 100 yards or so of where you've seen him. Uh, they're not usually traveling a whole bunch. They're usually, you know, um, bedding and feeding and, and remaining fairly docile. And it can be an extremely good time to harvest big giant bucks. One of the challenges is sometimes they don't move as much during the day. Uh, so you have a little bit more limited time to find those deer. Whereas in the rut, when the deer are really rutting hard and chasing does and bucks are actively moving around, uh, uh, you can see a lot of deer. But the challenge sometimes with those rut hunts compared to the December hunts is in the rut hunts, those deer are moving so much, they are chasing does so much that it becomes sometimes hard to get over in a sniper type situation, sniper position, and you know get that three to 500 yards from that deer and get them shot because uh, those bucks are just chasing does up and down and around uh, the hillsides where on the December hunt, um, you know those deer are kind of bedding and feeding and, and, and kind of remaining in a general area. So that, that's kind of the breakdown on the timing of the seasons. Like I said, uh, the fully guided hunts include food, lodging, transportation, uh, and uh, your deer permit, your gun permit. Uh, and we will be with you from the time of crossing through the military uh, down to the ranches and back. Um, and it's just an unbelievable time. Now we also offer what we call our DIY or your do-it-yourself coos deer hunts and we typically like to do these DIY coos deer hunts for groups of four or more. It makes it easier for us in planning and trying to arrange ranches of groups of four, five, six, seven, and even eight people depending on the size of the ranch. 
Now that is a situation just as it sounds where it's do it yourself. So you will come, you will cross the border on your own, you will check your guns through the military on your own, you will get your own gas, you will drive to the ranch. Once you get to the ranch, you will lock the gate and then you will hunt. And most of our DIY leases, if, if you have an entire group, uh, that is your exclusive lease for the year. In other words, you can come and go and hunt as much as you want on the DIY leases. So that's your lease for the year. No one else will have that lease. And, and something I forgot to mention on our guided hunts are our guided hunts are seven full days of hunting. So we have a travel day, seven full days of hunting, and then a travel day. And we feel like seven full days gives you a lot of opportunity to really hunt the ground out and really be selective and try and harvest a great buck. We do it a little differently than a lot of outfitters. A lot of outfitters just do a five day hunt. We feel really, uh, uh, firm about our seven day hunt policy it, we feel like we have a little bit better opportunity to be selective so back to the do-it-yourself hunts uh, if you're a onesie or a twosie or a threesie if you're less than four we can also place you either with another group and make up groups or we can place you on ranches that are smaller uh, to fit your needs um, and and but we prefer to do groups of four or more. Um, and that is your exclusive lease for the year. Um, all of these uh, hunts, whether guided or do it yourself, you also have the option on most ranches to harvest a javelina for an extra price. And um, some hunters choose to and some hunters uh, choose, choose not to. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Most of the ranches are anywhere from one to five hours uh, south of Douglas, Arizona. Uh, there are also ranches that are south of the Nogales, Arizona um, uh, border crossing. And that whole northern Sonora uh, country is just a beautiful, incredible country. Right now at this time, uh, we only do do-it-yourself and fully guided mountain ranch hunts. Uh, we don't do any ranches at this time uh, down by the Hermosillo area, uh, either west of Hermosillo, east of Hermosillo, or south of Hermosillo. Uh, down on the mule deer, we typically just stick with the coos deer ranches. Um, and the going back to the do-it-yourself ranch you can hunt from season uh, the beginning of the season to the end of the season uh, you can come multiple times and that is your exclusive lease for the season um, and I, I just want to on prices if anybody has any questions on prices on our coos deer hunts in Mexico you can email me at jscottoutdoors at gmail.com that's j-a-y-s-c-o-t-t -T, outdoors at gmail.com you can also send me a direct message on instagram and guys i really appreciate your support uh, of this podcast and i really like hearing from you guys i want to encourage you to send me any success photos or if you've got a story to tell me about uh, your hunting season or your fishing uh, send me photos, love to see them, love to post them up on my Instagram and uh, encourage you guys to follow along on my Instagram at J. Scott Outdoors or on our Facebook page, J. Scott Outdoors and uh, just appreciate your support. Hope you found some value in this podcast episode. Uh, if, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I look forward to hearing from you.